Oh my gosh. It is an absolutely spectacularly gorgeous. Over the top beautiful, but I'm beginning to get a little bit suspicious, guys. A little bit smoky. A little bit smoky day here in the end times. That bugs in a jar farm uh, here on this glorious is it it is a wednesday afternoon something like august 14th 2024 or something so anyway <clears throat> you know i just can't help putting my damn uh ham bone foot in my mouth and i was just making fun last night of anybody you know claiming that kamala harris or certainly Joe Biden. Do you remember this fellow Joe Biden? I, I don't know if you guys remember this old fart, Joe Biden. Uh, you never hear his name anymore. But anyway, uh, you know, people uh, who do remember him used to call Joe Biden a socialist, which is like calling Kamala Harris a socialist, which is like calling Sancho Panza a pit bull. Uh, so I would always laugh at all of these maggots <coughs> calling that corporate whore, Joe Biden, a socialist. And uh, then I open up the paper this very morning and I and I find maybe Joe Biden, the lamest of the lame ducks we have ever had, the old uh, has-been lame duck, lame duck, Joe Biden is uh, in the last six months of being a corporate whore uh, president. He's taking a day off of uh, drill, baby drilling. And he claims that he is going to go up against these goddamn corporations with their, uh, what, did they, what did they call it? The doom loop. Uh, I love that. The, the doom loop uh, where, you know, you get put on hold uh, and, 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 and all of this shit that, that I have been bitching about. All of these bullshit fees they tack on. Uh, to all of this shit, these hidden fees, and uh, trying to get a real human being uh, to talk to on the fucking line, and on and on that we've all been through. And he says that uh, Joe Biden is going to take on the corporate doom loop uh, that drives us all uh, in insane. So hopefully. Uh, Kamala Harris will pick up that and, and for once uh, behave like the socialist. Uh, yeah, right, that uh, all of these right-wing maggots who have no fucking clue what a socialist is claim she is. <clears throat> so anyway, I, I, I'm, I'm reading this story uh, going, yeah, right, good luck. And uh, I go from that uh, to opening up my email and find just the latest email uh, from these uh, these people down in Atlanta. Now this is not a, a some big corporation, okay? It's a, I don't know if it's a family business or anything, but it's this computer business that you know they sell uh, open box return computers and refurbished computers and you, you know that kind of an outfit uh, they're down there in Atlanta I think they're called premium premium laptop uh, is their uh, is their name and you know they they do most of their business through their eBay store and the only reason that I use these fuckers 
the only reason I use these fuckers is that they have a 100% seller rating, 2,654 reviews of this outfit uh, with a 100% rating. They're, you know, absolute perfect score. Uh, so I said, okay, uh, I'm, I'm totally safe going with these guys. I knew that I was taking a gamble by buying not an open box, but a forever, but an unopened box that had never been opened. You know, the seller said, we'll warranty that it works, but, you know, we don't have fucking x-ray vision, dude. Uh, you're going to be the one who find out, finds out if it works or not. If it doesn't work, send it back, and uh, we'll make it right. And so I knew uh, that, that I was taking a gamble, but because they have this 100% fucking rating, with 2,600 reviews, and then eBay said they would back me up. I went ahead, made the fucking gamble, <clears throat> totally lost the gamble. How many weeks ago has this been? How many fucking weeks ha have I been dealing uh, w w with these fuckers? So the way it's turned out is they are replacing it with a more expensive computer than the one I ordered. No shit, Sherlock, but uh, I think it is gonna be a better computer. I guess it's a 12th generation, whatever that means, as opposed to the 8th generation uh, that they had sent me. So they upgrade me from an 8th generation to a 12th generation. <clears throat> promise me it's going to be a lot faster and peppier and I'll be more satisfied with it. <clears throat> Going round and around and around and around and around uh, with, with, with these fuckers. And, and so now what they have done is they, they have charged me the, the, you know, I paid $40, 40 fucking dollars in shipping for them to send me that fucking dead computer and they clearly told me they were going to cover the, the the cost of the shipping well well guess what that they're holding out their hands for uh we clearly had it covered that they were going to cover the cost of the shipping and and i find out they're still charging me the 40 fucking dollars to send that dead piece of shit computer with all the shit that I've fucking eaten over this. Uh, they said, no, Sam, what we told you is uh, they uh, that we were not going to charge you $40 to send it back, to send the piece of shit computer back. So anyway, the way it ended was so we, we kind of split the ticket. So I uh, have ended up paying them. Uh, I guess I am pitching in fifteen dollars toward the shipping of the new computer. Uh, anyway, but the bottom line is, after all of this time, uh, I'm I'm ending up spending seventy three more dollars uh, than the than the fucking computer that I bought it is the bottom fucking line they're getting ready to lose their 100% uh, percent fucking rating uh, on eBay uh, I don't know when I'm gonna get this motherfucking computer and then I'm back with fucking with, with fucking uh, what's the name of that goddamn place Best Buy to for the third time this summer to get them to transfer all of the shit off my old computer onto this one blah the fuck blah and uh so anyway uh, all of this experience has gotten me so they get a since there's no such thing as a zero star uh on ebay i'm giving this seller a one star but you know i i started thinking about you know particularly these big fucking corporations 
uh, that a lot of us deal with. And uh, so it, it, all joking aside, I, I really am not joking from this point forward, although I haven't been joking uh, up until this point. Anything I'm getting ready to say it, it, it is the honest to God truth that, uh, okay, we need to give credit where credit is due to these big fucking corporations who really do uh, have uh, top-notch uh, corporate support and the number one, the number one best customer support of any corporation I have ever dealt with in my entire life is drum roll please Airbnb Airbnb I give them six stars they are unbelievably uh, responsive to customer needs now I, I might need to put an asterisk by that they claim that super hosts that if you're a super host one of the perks of being a super host is super host level customer support that uh, I can call fucking Airbnb at two o'clock in the morning on Christmas Eve and then within five minutes I am going to have a live human being uh, helping me resolve my issue. Uh, they, they are peerless in their performance so I don't know if you're not a super host or e even a host like if you're just a regular person a, you know like like a guest who's not a host and you're having trouble checking in or something you might have a a difference but uh, speaking as a vacation rental super host uh, those guys uh, are doing it and they're doing it right and what they're doing is proving it is proving beyond any shadow of a doubt that it can be done that if if uh, Airbnb can do it any one of these fucking corporations can do it okay so uh, five stars to uh, Airbnb and, and uh, uh, okay the next one I'm, I'm gonna give them pretty close to five stars uh, maybe four and a half stars and, and I was absolutely flabbergasted when I uh, when I learned this uh, last year so I don't know if this is a fairly new development but Amazon.com uh, is unbelievable customer support uh, that you can call. Uh, I wish I had the number to give you the correct number to call and you will have, now you do have to go through the robot. You are going to have, that's why they don't get the five stars. Airbnb you have to spend about 20 seconds with a robot. My problem with the Airbnb robot, the, 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 the little robo chick that answers the phone sounds exactly like Dulcinea. So every time I call fucking Airbnb, I have Dulcinea uh, answering the phone, but uh, uh, I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna see if I can change the goddamn voice uh, so on Amazon you do have the uh, you gotta fight that little robot <clears throat> but it's not that bad it really isn't that bad just keep telling the fucking robot I want to talk to a real person I want to talk to a real person I want to talk to a real person and they roll over and play dead and they send you a real person now again I don't know if Amazon Prime members get a better level of customer service support than non-Prime members. 
since I am uh, what do I pay fifteen dollars a month fifteen dollars a month uh, to be an Amazon Prime uh, member so there might be something when I call that flags that I'm a Prime member and I get treated a little bit differently don't know about that for sure but but Airbnb and Amazon uh, they, they've both proven they can do it now coming in at three stars and I get the idea after my experience yesterday that they're getting better is good old PayPal it, it used to be absolute living hell getting through to a real human being on PayPal so what I did yesterday guys I, I, I went on PayPal uh, and you know I need to pay all of these insurance bills uh, which I can't pay on PayPal so I go into PayPal trying to transfer the money to cover all of my upcoming insurance and tax bills which uh, total about four thousand dollars I was trying to send that uh, over to my fucking bank so I could go get all these insurance things paid and I accidentally liquidated my PayPal account I sent my entire PayPal account into my bank you can imagine the fucking uh, heart attack I, I had when that happened uh, so I'm in an absolute freak out and uh, called PayPal thinking uh, I was going uh, you know to be put in this robo cop heaven I mean hell and I could not believe it an actual human being picked up the telephone at a at uh, PayPal uh, so they went from two stars to three and if it happens maybe that was just a fluke yesterday but PayPal uh, even if you could just get as decent level of service uh, that PayPal provides uh, that socialist Joe Biden would not have to be going through this okay uh, another one who is improved uh, recently and they have risen from two stars to three stars is fucking Bank of America uh, believe it or not uh, Bank of America's uh, telephone customer service has uh, has improved greatly and uh, I, I mean I, and, and seriously their their fraud prevention their security and fraud prevention department at Bank of America the, 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 those fuckers have uh, have saved my ass several times uh, when they spot suspicious activity uh, on my uh, account so you know one of the things that Joe Biden is talking about trying to crack down on is uh, this shit where it's a hell of a lot harder to unsubscribe from a uh, from some uh, corporate uh, ripoff than it was to subscribe so you know these goddamn things where you sign up for a 30-day free trial and then sometime in the 30 days you have to go in and cancel or they will automatically charge your uh, credit card or whatever if you forget to go there and do that well Bank of America they're uh, good old Bank of America no other bank that I know of that maybe they all do this now is if one of those fucking corporations it was pile of fish is one that I've run into with this uh, if uh, you you do one of these 30 day uh, these seven day or these 30 day free trials and you don't cancel and Bank of America 
gets a a charge from them a you know a a full subscription charge they will not automatically pay that pay it they will uh they will email you and say do you realize that pile of fish is trying to fuck you right now uh do you want us to pay them or do you want us to tell them to go fuck themselves and uh good on uh, bank of america I, I mean, all kidding aside, I think that's pretty fucking cool. They don't need to be doing that. Uh, so, uh, good for you, Airbnb.com, Amazon.com, Bank of America, I think, dot org, uh, PayPal. Uh, now, of course, the uh, people, since there are no such thing, as zero stars uh, since I only have the opportunity to give them one star the two the two single worst uh, customer support uh, operations that I have ever discovered in my entire life well the reigning king of the zero star is this outfit called Skype. Skype. Uh, see, see, I signed up for Skype uh, way back in 2009 before Microsoft took it over. So I have been forever grandfathered in uh, on, uh, on Skype. Uh, so that's the only reason I hang it cost me $65 a year uh, it, 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 so uh, I, I've uh, somehow I've managed to uh, still have a Skype account but Jesus fucking Christ I have never spoken to anyone at Skype you cannot get a real person uh, to pick up the phone at Skype can't be done I remember when I was trying to change a credit card number I was on you know with a little robot the little robo chat a little chat uh, bot off to the side seven hours seven hours that I spent uh, char uh, trying to uh, update a, uh, a a fucking credit card number seven hours uh, 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 on that and then the newest one that I have encountered uh, of course is fucking Best Buy Best Buy is right up there with Skype now you can get a human being at Best Buy alright you can get a human being, but that human being is going to be in fucking India and is not going to be able to do a fucking thing to help you. Alright, so yeah, you can get a real human being in India uh, to apologize profusely to you but they're they're absolutely fucking worthless uh, you are not uh, going to be, be able to call your local store talk to a fucking human and that is even if you do like you know as I say I paid that $179 uh, annual uh, uh, geek squad thing so I can use the geek squad for a year even though I paid that $179 it does nothing towards getting a uh, fucking customer support to uh, to help you uh, fucking Best Buy can go fuck themselves uh, the, I mean the only fucking reason well there's two fucking reasons that I'm still continuing to deal with these motherfuckers. Number one is that I've paid the $179.
so they have to work uh, on my computers for free even if I did not buy the computer at Best Buy. So that's the main reason. But uh, also, it's uh, that there is one human being, a real live human being, my uh, geek at the Ithaca store who gets a five-star rating. As long as I'm dealing with him, uh, Best Buy deserves a five-star. But there's no fucking way that I can just call the guy. Uh, I, it, it can't be done. I can't just call the motherfucker. And so uh, we, we just worked out an arrangement. Uh, this is Ben. Uh, ben just told me to just fuck all of this geek squad shit. Sam, he, he goes, I know what you want done. Uh, I work Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. When you get your new computer, uh, don't say a fucking word uh, going through trying to make a fucking appointment. Just bring the fucking computers to me and drop them off. And uh, when I have your shit transferred, uh, I will send you an email to come pick up your fucking computer. And so Ben gets a five star, but the rest of these motherfuckers, Jesus Christ. So anyway, uh, that is my uh, th that that is my rating for these various corporations. But, you know, getting back to Airbnb, uh, Airbnb has proven to me that it can be done. And uh, if uh, Joe Biden, uh, with Kamala Harris at his side, can act like a fucking socialist for once in his fucking life, uh, and, and and turn Best Buy uh, into uh, into Airbnb. Uh, Kamala Harris has my damn vote. Anyway, look at this pouring down rain off in the. Uh, there there is zero chance of rain today. The uh, the reason I'm going. All right, three dollars and thirty-eight cents on gas. That's one reason I'm coming here. The reason I'm going to this store is because virtually every single time I have ever been to this grocery store, it has been raining, and I don't want to leave the dog in the truck. So I figured, okay, uh, so that grocery store there is in the hot sun. And this grocery store here, uh, whatever it's called, it's getting ready to rain. Uh, this is the reason that I am here. Uh, Grand Union is because I figure if I come here on a bright sunny day that uh, it will be raining on Grand Union. Get out there and enjoy your rain on a sunny day while you still can. Bye, guys.